The 2022 Porsche Macon can dice it up with sports sedans on a racetrack and carry a reasonable cart full of groceries home from Costco. Offering a trio of turbocharged engines, the lineup culminates in the performance-oriented GTS model with a 434 HP twin-turbo V6. But no matter which engine you choose, the Macon's chassis is an athletic partner that goads you to hit apex after apex. All models come with all-wheel drive, as standard, and those who want to enhance the crossover's handling can do so via several options, including summer tires, an adaptive suspension, a torque vectoring differential, and tungsten carbide-coated rotors. Yes, it's an SUV, but it's also very much a Porsche. What's new for 2022? Porsche updated the Macon's front and rear bumpers and added new wheel designs to the order, form for 2022. The interior sports a reworked center console, steering wheel, and shift lever. The base turbocharged 2-liter 4-cylinder now makes 261 horsepower, and the Macon S inherits the 375 HP twin-turbo 2.9-liter V6 from last year's GTS. Porsche cut the turbo from the list, but transferred its 434 HP V6 to the GTS. Given the Macon's athletic character, we'd skip the base model and go straight for the V6-powered S, which brings a meaningful bump in performance. Standard features include a 10.9-inch touchscreen infotainment system, a 10-speaker audio system, and LED headlights. We'd also splurge a little for the premium package for its heated front and rear seats, adaptive headlights, and an upgraded 14-speaker audio system. The Sport Chrono Pack has our attention too, for its driver-adjustable drive modes and launch control feature. We'd also recommend taking advantage of the Porsche Experience Center. For $395, plus a $50 damage waiver fee, you will be received coaching and track time in your new Porsche at either the Atlanta or Los Angeles location. If you don't live in those areas, you can travel and book time in one of Porsche's vehicles instead. Prices for those experiences range from as low as $400 to as high as $900, depending on location and model. Engine, transmission, and performance. We have yet to attach a V-Box data logger to a 2022 model with the base turbo four-cylinder, but we've taken a test drive and found its power to be more than adequate. The one we've tested is the GTS model, which comes with a 434 HP twin-turbo V6, and it jumped to 60 miles per hour in just 3.5 seconds. That's significantly quicker than the times posted by the Audi SQ5 and Jaguar F-Pace S. An SUV probably doesn't need to launch off the line as quickly as that, but we sure appreciate it. Quickness is important in a crossover with sporting intentions, but we wouldn't be nearly as impressed with the Macon if it weren't for its all-around competence on the road. It feels remarkably like a sports sedan. The ride is wonderfully smooth and carefully controlled, and it's rare for a jolt from the pavement to make itself known to the driver. The steering is a tad lighter than it is in Porsche's sports cars, but it's still super accurate and pleasantly tactile. Fuel economy and real-world MPG The 2022 Macon's EPA ratings haven't been released yet, but last year's model earned estimates that were very similar to those of its competitors. On our 75 MPH real-world highway fuel economy loop, the Macon S averaged 26 MPG, bettering its highway figure by 3 MPG. For more information about the Macon's fuel economy, visit the EPA's website. Interior, Comfort, and Cargo The Macon's standard interior fittings are a disappointment in a crossover of this price and provenance, and it's expensive to outfit one in a manner that befits the Porsche crest. There's also less space for back seat passengers in the Macon than in most competitors. The power adjustable seats for the driver and front passenger 
while comfortable, are the only pieces of standard interior equipment that feel luxurious. You could have the whole interior draped in leather, which would partly address the issue, but Porsche, living up to its price-gouging reputation, requires an extra $2,230 just to cover the dashboard and doors in cowhide. A puny cargo hold and small interior cubbies make the make-in one of the least practical vehicles in this segment. But when has buying a Porsche ever been a rational choice? We fit six carry-on bags in behind the bench, and 16 with the rear seats folded, which should be enough for most people. Infotainment and Connectivity Porsche's infotainment system can be had with all manner of high-tech features, but they'll cost you. USB ports and 12-volt outlets are sprinkled throughout the cabin, so everyone should be able to keep their devices fully charged. A Wi-Fi hotspot and Apple CarPlay come standard, but no make and offers Android Auto. Safety and Driver Assistance Features The make and can be had with a wide array of driver assistance technology, but almost none of it is standard. For more information about the Macon's crash test results, visit the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and Insurance Institute for Highway Safety websites. Key safety features include Standard Lane Departure Warning Available Automated Emergency Braking Available Adaptive Cruise Control Warranty and Maintenance Coverage Porsche's warranty coverage is good but not great. The F-Pace and the Cadillac XT5 offer better coverage in certain areas. Limited warranty covers 4 years or 50,000 miles. Powertrain warranty covers 4 years or 50,000 miles. Complementary maintenance covers 1 year or 10,000 miles.